Juice in the house. What's, What's up, good, man? man? Good to have you, dude. I appreciate you having me here, man. Yeah, dude. How you feeling, dude? I'm feeling good, man. Just finished the performance. And, um, we here doing this now. Let's get to <laughs> it. Cool, man. Well, thanks for stopping by. And, uh, you know, yeah. we almost actually did not have that uh, performance done. In time <laughs> for God, real, dude. Our, uh, the neighbor started, uh, I don't know what he was doing. It was like some... Uh, construction work or something but it was like <laughs> and then we started worrying we're like oh man but luckily here, though. yeah it luckily happened. the neighbor was a good sport and talk to him real quick we got a man over here talking to him yeah got it done so uh rap dude how long you been doing it rap man i'll say i really spit my like first freestyle like no joke, like, I was probably, like, I'd say, like, 10 years old. Like, no joke. Like, I spit, like, my first freestyle. And um, I told my mom to, like, write it down for me, too. Like, while I freestyled, I was like, yo, <laughs> like, <laughs> write this down real quick. But, like, she, of course, didn't write it down. She but, was like, like, what the? And she's like, what? Hey, boy, what the? What the? Go do your chores, man. <laughs> so then, like, later on, I ended up, like, probably, like, i say, like, sixth grade is when I started, like, actually freestyling more. And, like, that's when I actually started just doing it more, like, as, like, an art form in a way. Because, like, most people just do it just to do it. So, like, once I started doing that, like, sixth grade and lunch, I would always, like, spit freestyles with my homie. And then from there, it went to me just going to, like, i say about, like, pretty much through, like, seventh through eighth through uh, ninth grade mm -hmm. is when I was, like, do my writings and, like, do little verses here and there. And, but like, I'd say around 11th, 12th grade is when I really got serious and like, I started writing songs instead of just like, you know, just acapellas, I started trying to write to beats. And then, um, my first recorded like song was probably 12th grade. And yeah. I just kept going with it ever since then. And like, I feel like I was influenced mostly like by my mom's and shit too, cause she would listen to a lot of like R&B. Yeah. So like, yeah, like I'm into a lot of stuff. So, I feel very inclined to, because um, I was paying attention to the lyrics, and mm -hmm. I noticed that they were actually very thought-provoking. Mm -hmm. and, and you can tell that you put a lot of thought into it. Yeah. So, I was wondering if you could run some of those lyrics by us. Like, um, I know you mentioned that you are vegan, or, or at least going vegan. Yeah, I'm on my way to trying to, like, trying to be more strict with it, because I haven't been as strict as I, like, yeah. I would want to. Like, I've had moments where I, would like, would go straight, like, for months but like lately i've been kind of off of it but i'm trying to get back into that moment like like that movement of it the whole like you know just staying away from everything like i'll probably just eat like some bread and stuff you know that still contains like milk and shit like mm -hmm. but yeah like i feel like pretty much everything that you put into you and like it's just it's the same kind of like energy you're gonna put out you know because like whatever like this is our temple so like whatever you put it in is like it's gonna be released the, through the energies and all that. So like, I feel like just clean eating and like, like really good thought out, like putting like manifestations into like why you're eating, like, you know, like this is gonna make me feel good. Like this is gonna like give me energy. Like, I feel like that's like a different way to like different things. Like it just makes you feel real good too. Mm -hmm. I remember like when I was on it for a long, like, st like strictly, like I felt like brand new, like I felt good. And it just, like, made me feel real healthy, like, even past, like, the healthy, like, even just, like, creative-wise, like, it made me think differently, like, it just put me in a whole different way. And I feel like that's a good, like, a way that a lot of people should, like, think about probably going into. Yeah. And I try to, like, do my music, just, like, let people know, like, this is what I believe. And, like, if you guys believe it, too, then maybe join the way, too, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool, dude. And, um... Uh... You got any, uh, you got some recordings going on, am I correct? Yeah, I got a couple of, like, songs that I've been recording, like, the performance that we just did is one that I just barely recorded, hasn't been released yet, so that's, like, a sneak peek to the actual track. Yeah, it was good, dude, yeah. and uh, we almost, like we mentioned yeah. earlier, we almost didn't even have it, because it was, like, that shit was crazy. Because you mentioned you had just, you know, yeah. written it and recorded it. I was just trying to get so. every lyric down correctly, like, you know? Yeah. Just trying to get that real sound. 
But I feel like once it comes out, it's gonna it's gonna make justice for it. Like, yeah. So yeah. yeah. No, well, I mean, did good, dude. And I then, appreciate it. It's cool how I mean, like, like our, our the neighbor put us under pressure, and we're like, oh, and then, but somehow you made it happen when yeah. you were under the most <laughs> pressure. It was like, hey, dude. Looks like we got a time minute, ten minute look, time frame to like <laughs> nail it. Look, we need fifty minutes. Yeah, no, like you gotta it. like nail it in that, and you. And did that kind of just like made me do it even more. Like you know, I was like, mm-hmm. all right, I got this much time. Let's do it real quick. Let's get to it. Let's go. Yeah. That put me in like that zone. So, like, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And the cool thing about you is um. Although you are a rapper, I noticed that when when you first came in, you know, you caught us listening to like we were setting up yeah. and we were jamming out to corn and like yeah. all kinds of like new metal head system of a down. Mm-hmm. And you were jiving to it, dude. You were just like, oh, hell yeah, dude, this is my yeah. jam. Like, and then you were like singing the lyrics and you knew the songs. Yeah. So I was like, oh, dude, like this this guy knows his shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. Man, what the fuck? Like, damn. Yeah. Growing up, I listened to all that shit. Like Metallica, Nick um, Park, Corn. Uh, pretty much like all them 90s bands like it just I don't know I feel like I gravitate towards that cause like they got some real deep like lyrics you know like yeah. the lyrics is always what gets me and like, I'm just be like damn that shit's crazy <laughs> you know like that's what kind of made me get in more depth with my like lyrics kind of like I feel like that's where I get my like real deep like words from I'd say like Shouts out Chester Bennington, man. Rest in peace. Damn, R.I.P. <laughs> man, that 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 came out of nowhere. Yeah, well, I man. guess in the sense if you if you were a Lincoln Park fan and knew of Chester yeah. and like his um his problems with depression and all that, I, yeah. I didn't really come as a surprise. But for yeah. someone like me that wasn't that invested into particularly the members' life, yeah, I was like, oh, sh- oh shit, I man, was, this guy's out. I like, was surprised to be honest. It's like, you know, like. At the end of the day, we all look at it like, oh, like, he's a crazy artist. Like, he makes these dope music. But, like, like if you listen to the words, like, he's telling you, like, man, this is how I feel. Like, yeah, dude, that's yeah. the craziest part. It- and that's what just got me crazy. I was like, wow. I feel that. Like, that's, like, one <laughs> artist that, 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 like, passed away. And I was just like, damn. Like, he was, like, my idol growing up for real. Chester Bennington, he was, like, he was a dope person overall, like. I would watch like interviews and stuff. That shit, okay. Like, he's a real dope artist. Yeah, man. He seemed like a nice dude too, and he was a great vocalist too, man. Yeah, and it's crazy because uh, well, my uncle, my uncle told me that like back then he's um, well, he lived in like Big Bear, so Uh he was like out there working when he was probably like, I'll say like nineteen, twenty, and I would go out there sometimes, and then like he said that one time when he was out there, he was in his cabin, whatever. And Lincoln Park was pretty much up there. Like they were doing a show in Big Bear somewhere, and he ended up having this food. Like, pretty much, he had them come over and they were smoking with them and shit. Like they were just smoking what? weed. Yeah, like, and to be honest, I don't know if it's true, but I I, don't I hope know. it's true. That I hope it's dope. true. I know that sounds dope as hell. Yeah, that, like over there smoking with Chester Bennington, like that's dope as hell. Like, but man, like I said, R. P. Chester, man. Yeah. <laughs> For real. And then, dude, that first album is just, I, I can't, I don't get tired of it, ever. But first one was a uh, Hybrid Theory, Hybrid right? Theory, yeah. yeah. That, that album, just from start to finish, is just a f- fucking masterpiece. You don't have to skip it. No, no, yeah, no, right, every, like, every song just flows perfect. I yeah. That shit. Yeah, man. So, um, seeing as how, you know, your background is very, like, rock-oriented, mm-hmm. heavy metal, uh, at what point were you, like, you know what? I want to do some like I want to try rap. I mean, even though you had mentioned that you had been writing and stuff since you were a little kid, but I what I want I guess what I'm trying to ask is at what point were you like you know what I'm like gonna take I'm gonna go this route like I'm a fucking yeah be a independent rap artist like this is what I'm gonna do. So like I was kind of doing both kind of so like I was part of like bands and stuff sometimes like um, so like I had a, like one band before and. Pretty much, I just kind of, I wanted to be that person that, you know, like, when you look at me, like, you could you could know, like, oh, he does this, this, and that, like, you know, like, I'm not, I don't want to be boxed into, like, yeah. one genre, but, like, I feel like ever since, like, I was, like, I'd say, once I hit out of high school, that's when I, like, pretty much, 
I kind of moved over to just strictly rap, like, mm. and I just focused on that craft, and, like, that's when I really just, like, owned it, really, like, I say around, like, 20 years old, because I feel like, in a way, with the band, like, you kind of have to build that friendship with people, and then, like, it always doesn't go the same way, like, you would mm. want it to go sometimes, so then, like, I just thought to myself, like, man, like, I'd rather just do my own thing, because mm-hmm. I like, I just, that's when I started focusing on, like, rap and, like, and just hip-hop, really. I started studying, like, listening to more Biggie and Pac and, like, all that. Like, which I listened to, like, growing up, but, like, was more just, like, of a, like, oh, I'm just a kid listening to the, you know, but, like, then actually studying it. Like, once I got out of high school, like, that's when I started, like, actually studying and, like, locking myself in the room kind of type shit, mm-hmm. like, and just writing lyrics and just learning, really. Like, so I say, like, around my 20s, like, 20. 21 that's when I really owned it even though I was still dropping music like that's when I like I decided like yeah this is what I'm gonna do like, yeah yeah. and you're, you're making good moves I mean I follow you on your page and yeah. like everyone here and there I see like some dope videos coming out like like I, I see yeah. them like hey new music video or or, mm-hmm. or anything that you're putting out I'm like yo that's quality like what the yeah. hell like I'm looking at it I'm like what the like that's some good Appreciate production it, like, thank you thank you so you're you're on it like it's, yeah. you can tell that you're on it i'm really i know mean, i'm trying my hardest i got i got a good amount of like support and like i got my friends that like you know who are have the same mindset and want the same goals so like i have that same inspiration around me all the time so like you know like shout out to my boy hector like, over here on the side um, produce like he's over here like recording a lot of my um my work that I have like thought out and processed in my mind. He's bringing them to life, you know, like mm-hmm. and as well as my um my friends June the first and Via Keys, you know, producing a lot of work for me and just been making a lot of work with them. Like as long as I got the inspiration, you know, it's always gonna be coming. Like for real. Well that's how you do it man. Yeah man. I'm just I'm I'm happy to hear that you go for it and you just tackle it on and you know fuck it dude like you're yeah, gonna put man. your whole spirit into it you're gonna put and you you can hear it in the lyrics man yeah, you can it. feel it off the lyrics like yeah you know like that's why i was when i was driving with you back there you know when you were recording and i was like damn these these lyrics and then you have like yeah. there's one section of the song that you performed and i was like yeah dude uh-huh. like it's like just one whole breath of just da 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 and just yeah. like really long, but it, it flows very well. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I just try to articulate my life into like, into like materials, like you know, mm-hmm. and just put it out. Have somebody feel me. I know somebody's gonna feel it, you know. Yeah. Somebody's gonna feel the same way I feel, and know that they have something better for them coming. Like, and always knowing, I just always feel that way. Like, I got something better coming from me. Let's, yeah. let's hope it does man I hope it does and thank you so much again for coming uh, before we we uh, close it down take a swig bro take a swig man take a swig <laughs> I already killed mine yeah. well I'll take another one yeah what time is it dude <laughs> oh, it's Modelo time <laughs> alright man well um, how about you, you want to let everyone know where they can find you on social media maybe yeah, some YouTube mm-hmm. accounts you, you guys got. can find me at it's juice I T S J O O S E underscore, and follow me. Follow me on SoundCloud. It's ju- It's just straight juice, all caps J O O S E, and I got a lot of new work coming out. I got a lot in the works, and uh, yeah, you're gonna be hearing a lot from me in the upcoming events. Yeah. Cool. All right, man. Thanks for having me, That's man. That's right. Peace out. <laughs>